Hi, this is Dr. Randy Nordell, and this is a brief tutorial on file management. File management is, is the system of saving and organizing your files to help you become more efficient. So in the um, in Windows, it's called the File Explorer. We'll also look at the Mac side of it, which is called the Finder. So first thing you'll want to do in, um, in Windows is to open up the File Explorer. So typically it is on the taskbar down here at the bottom where you can click and open up this window. Um, it's also typically in the start menu here. If you can't find it either of those places, search for it. Just search and start typing and there it is you can click on this and say it'll say pinned to start or pinned to taskbar mine are already both pinned but that's a that's a great way for easy access to your file explorer once you have your file explorer open now you can create a file structure so files uh, Files go inside of folders, and you'll notice here on mine, I have in this in this particular one, and this is a OneDrive folder, I have a bunch of folders in there, and then I have folders within folders. So it just helps keep me organized to be able to find my folders uh, more quickly. So one thing you'll, you may want to do is save things in your OneDrive. OneDrive is the online storage that you get as part of your Microsoft 365 account. OneDrive, uh, typically you set it up when you set up your Windows machine. Um, if you're unsure about how to set up OneDrive, get on YouTube and find a video and it will help you. But OneDrive is nice because it not only stores your files locally on your computer, but also stores them on the cloud where you have access to them wherever you go. You could log in and through your OneDrive app on your phone or somebody else else's computer, you can log in and access those files. So I'm going to create a folder structure in, in my OneDrive account here. And again, you'll notice I just by collapsing and expanding, I can see which files I have. If I click the new button and choose folder, it's going to open up a new, it's going to create a new folder here. And I am going to name this. You can sort your folders here by different by name or however you want and you can view them a different way I tend to view them as a list it's smaller I see I can see more that way once once I do that once I have my uh, my college folder created then I can create a folder with uh, for my courses and then within each course I can create uh, chapters or projects or whatever folder so I'm going to create a few chapter folders now you see that I have a uh, structure, file management structure in order to save my, save my files. So I have my college here. This is my course. These are some chapters. You'll probably have numerous courses. You can change this to your college name or whatever you want. The naming convention, just stay consistent with that. So um, a couple best practices as you start file management, create a folder structure like I've done here. That's that's big. The other thing is save with meaningful file names, file names that um, that are meaningful to you to help you easy uh, more easily find the file that you're looking for. And then also try to minimize duplicate versions of the same file, because if you have multiple versions of the same file, you may not be sure which one you're working on, which one's the correct one, which one's the most most recent one. So so those are three best practices is, is having a folder and subfolder structure like I've shown here, uh, saving with a meaningful file name and minimizing duplicate versions. Now, I'm going to show you how to save files uh, for your SimNet project files. Within SimNet, when you uh, start a SimNet project, this will also work on pause and practice projects or anywhere where you're downloading uh, a start file or even uh, for other classes, if you're saving a file that you're working on a report, save it in the correct file for you know with the correct name in the correct place to make it easier to find but if you click if you click the start file it's going to open up the save as dialog box some browsers may just save it to the downloads and i'll show you that in just a little bit but with the save as dialog box open i can click on my college here i can click i can open up this structure and do it this way and just say i want this saved in chapter one and then i can also rename it if i wanted to make this name a little cleaner and that's one of the things about
projects is you could do that. So I can get rid of it and just make it a little cleaner here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And that file is now saved. In this browser, this is Google Chrome. I can also, if it automatically saves and doesn't give you a chance to name it, you can do what's called view in the folder or show in the folder. And if you click this, it will open up the folder where it's at. So if it saves it to a different location, you'll be able to go find it. Notice here, it's, it's in the correct location. But if it saved it to a different location, you could just simply uh, select it and copy it and paste it in another location. If the file does get saved in a different location, uh, many times it's downloads. You'll find a file will automatically get saved to the downloads folder. If that's the case, go to your downloads folder, click the file, and you can copy it or you can move it. You can drag and drop it numerous ways, but put it in the location that, that, you, want it to, that you want it to be in your file structure. Uh, one last thing about file management is to try to replace duplicate copies. So if I were to not do well on this particular project and I wanted to start over with a new start file, I could, I'd click start file and again, save as dialog box would come up. And rather than just save a new one, because it says I could say, hey, I want to replace this old one. So I'm going to just, if I click that, it changes the file name here. And as I press save, it's going to say, do you want to replace it? Yes, this uh, minimize the number of duplicate files you have. It's a good file management practice. So I hope this information helps. Um, I'm going to show you now the Mac side of this. The equivalent to the File Explorer in, on the Windows side is the Finder on the Mac side. So the Finder is located on the dock down at the bottom. Click this button here to open up the Finder. And then we'll do similar to what we did in the File Explorer is just create a navigational structure or a folder structure in which to uh, save our files. So again, you could save in numerous places. You could save it on OneDrive. I'm going to just I'm going to just save it in the Randy file here for, for something different. But you can create folders a couple different ways. You can click the item, the uh, tasks button over here and create a new folder. You can also click the file tab up here and create a new folder. Or you can also do shift command in to create a new folder. So any of these three ways work to create a create a new folder. Once I've created this folder structure, now I have a place to save my files for my SimNet project. So I'm going to open up SimNet, go to the SimNet project area, and save my files. So I'm going to click Start File here. And the Save As dialog box will open up. And Mac, it may open up minimized. And like on the Windows side, it might automatically save to your downloads. If that's the case, you go to your downloads and copy it to the correct folder. But uh, but this is where, if I don't have, if the location does not come up where, where to save, I can always expand this dialog box. This one shows chapter one where I, where I do want to save it. But I can expand this dialog box. So then I could be very specific about where to save my file, college folder in my particular course in the chapter one folder. And then again, I can rename this to make it a little shorter name, a little more meaningful name um, for the file. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And like before, if it automatically saves, you could always view in folder, show in the finder, and it will open up where that file is in the finder. So then, then you could take it, copy it somewhere else. If you are to replace duplicate files, um, you, if I were to save it again, I wanted to replace this, I can replace the existing file. And it's going to ask me if I want to replace. Yes, again, this minimizes duplicate files, which is which is important. Keeps you uh, turning in the correct file. Keeps you from guessing as to which one's the most current or the correct file. And finally, if um, if it ends up in um, downloads, if a file. Uh, downloads. If a file ends up in there, you could take it and drag it and, and copy it and move it to the other, to the correct folder. That is file management. Use good folder and subfolder structure to help keep yourself organized. I hope this tutorial video was helpful.